Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chief Executive Officer of the 2016 Democratic National Convention Committee, Reverend Leah Daughtry. My sister and brother Democrats, welcome to Philadelphia. Our extraordinary team has worked tirelessly to make this week worthy of the history happening here at this, the 2016 Democratic National Convention. We gather in Philadelphia, the birthplace of American democracy, to celebrate the most enduring of American values, that of we the people. When we as Democrats say we the people, it has, perhaps, a different meaning than it does for our friends on the other side of the aisle. When Democrats say, we the people, we mean all the people. All the people, regardless of race, color, creed, or ethnicity. All the people, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. All the people those with plenty and those with little, the boats at the bottom and the boats coasting on the top, all the people, the least, the last, the lost, the locked in and the less behind, because we know that our diversity is not our problem, it is our promise. And we understand that you don't have to be just like me to be just like me. We believe that we have a mission, a mandate, and a responsibility to work, fight, and act on behalf of those who cannot work, fight, and act for themselves. We have a mission to ensure that our public leaders reflect all the values of all the people that they serve. We have a mandate to leave no one behind, because none of us succeeds unless all of us succeed. And we have a moral obligation, grounded in our common values, to live not as islands unto ourselves, but in a beloved community with each other. And this idea requires that we recognize the intrinsic worth of every person, and starting right now, to make an investment in their futures. When our founding fathers and mothers created this document and wrote, We the People, not even five miles from where we stand today. They set our country off on an ongoing journey toward a more perfect union. And this week, we will take one huge step toward breaking the hardest, highest glass ceiling and nominating by nominating our candidate, Hillary Rodham Clinton. who not only believes that we the people means all the people, but that regardless of what you look like or where you come from, what you believe or who you love, we are always stronger together. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.